Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beard Dad's Beer Reviews. Me, Dave the Beard Dad, back again to do another beer review for you. Going to do a location beer, like I promised I said I was going to do it. I did the unboxing, so I'm going to do one. And it is going to be the Smash and Grab Double IPA, weighing in at 8.5%, as it says so. The best before, we've got a candle on it, a best before. Candle on the 12th of September 2019. Best before the 12th of September 20. Again, says that they not had this before, but love vocation. I am life and death, heart and soul, pride and joy, twisted sour, the breakfast stout, love and hate. <coughs> All really, really solid beers. So I'm hoping that this is going to be another hit. For me, I am look, looking forward to having this for a very, very long time. Like I say, I just never got around to it, and there it is, in all its glory. I love these labels, I really do. Right, pop it off, see what we've got. So, beer and glass, what have we got ourselves? Just under the finger of rapidly dispersed and densely compact Daz White Head. A um, hazy orange coloured beer. No floaters, can't see any kind of carbonation clinging to the sides of the glass at all. It looks great, it really does look like a good example of a double IPA. Right, let's get a nose, let's see what we can smell. Loads and loads of hop, uh, um, tropical fruit, tropical, yeah, tropical fruit, and loads of hop aromas coming through. A bit of touch of pine, a bit of resin. Definitely tropical fruit. That is a big, there is a, a hoppy aroma to it as well. Let's go for the body and carb. Bodies, light to medium bodied, There's a little bit of a kind of a oily, like velvety feel to it. <coughs> Carbonation is just soft, short, sharp, soft, very small bubbles. Kind of just just fizzes a little bit and then it goes. Let's go for a big taste. So, total fruits up front, sweet, ripe stuff, um, some mango-ish, pineapple-ish, <coughs> but there's a big, dry, <coughs> excuse me, big, dry, bitter finish, and it's great, 8.5%, doesn't drink like an 8.5%, it tastes like a straight up, maybe a 6%er, um, it's excellent. But a little little bit of a bear in here, but it's not uncomfortable. But the overriding predominant thing here is this um, bitterness. Now the more I'm getting into this, the more this sort of fruit's coming through. And it's kind of like an unripe um, grapefruit. Slightly unripe, that sort of mango, where the unripe peaches, just unripe tropical fruit. It's bloody gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. A little bit of me from vocation. This is an excellent, excellent drink. Yeah, this is quality. Fruity, tropical fruit. Bit of finish. A little touch of sweetness in there, but not, not a great deal. It's like raw, fleshy, tropical fruit is what I'm getting. 
you have raw fleshy pineapple, raw pineapple, raw pineapple, raw peaches, raw mango. It still there's a touch, but there's a touch of sweetness there. But then, obviously, this is a big bitter finish. The flavours are properly developing as I'm, as I'm getting into it. I'm really done with it. It's excellent. Really, really impressive. I like that a lot. Good, st solid, standard. Good, solid example, sorry, <coughs> of a double IPA. It really is. It's, it's gorgeous. So there we go. So smash and grab. Uh, by vocation. <coughs> Do I like it? Yes. Would I buy it again? Yes. I think it's like three pound fifty on the web on the website. I think it may even be less. Um, do I like it? Yes. Would I buy it again? Yes. Would I recommend to friends? Yes. I would. Uh, Pete Donnelly. I know he's definitely got a can of this. He's having his tomorrow. In what order do you drink it? I've got no idea because Elvis Juice is usually his third or fourth drink. So this one may take over as a third or fourth one. I am. Um, if you've had this, let me know what you think. Please put a comment below. <coughs> Link to the website is also below where you can buy this off the website. Um, they have got, at the moment, there's a, there's, I saw it was on there today, there's a deal, they did a, a limited edition series, one beer a month series. That's been boxed up and you can pick that up on there as well. It's got the Witch Hunter in it. Um, and there's a couple of doubles and everything's kind of ages from six to eight. But I think there's a couple of tens and there's a three and a, three and a bit. Anyway, have a little look, get on and have a little look and see what you think. If you've read the video, give me the thumbs up. If you don't the video, give me the thumbs down. Subscribe in that corner there. I, and I'll be back to do another one a little bit later, if not tomorrow. So, until then, happy drinking and hail the ale.